Hey, I wanted to make this video because a couple of people have been asking me about the technical details of my system and I wanted to just run through it piece by piece and let you know what I'm up to in case you want to build a system that's similar. I call this my power drawer. Unlike lead acid batteries, you can keep lithium ion batteries in your living space because they don't off gas. This allows you to keep them warm and keep all the components dry inside. I have three 310 watt panels connected in series, giving me 930 watts at 137 volts. The power coming in from the solar panels goes through a 20 amp DC rated circuit breaker. This is the charge controller. It takes the incoming power from the solar panels and sends it to the battery. It's set up to charge the batteries to 48.3 in absorption mode and float at 48 volts. This is the battery disconnect. It goes between the solar controller and the bus bar and it can isolate the solar panels from the inverter and battery. This is the bus bar. It's the interconnect between the solar controller, the battery and the inverter. In the upper left you can see the fuse that will isolate the battery. This is our inverter. It's 48 volt and it is 1200 watts continuous, 2400 watts peak output and has been more than adequate for our needs so far. This is the Bluetooth module that you can get to work with your uh, charge controller. And as you can see there's an app on your smartphone that allows you to see the current output from the solar panels, the battery's current state of charge, and uh, if you click on history you can see your total yield since you've set up the system and your daily yield starting with zero today and working backwards. You can see that on the days when we're at the cabin we use between 1.5 and 2.5 kilowatt hours of power and the days we're away we use between 500 and 700 watt hours. That's because the only thing that's running more not there is our fridge. So far we've found our volt battery to be very stable. I don't have a full-time monitoring system, but what I do have is this unit which allows me to check the state of charge of each individual cell whenever I'm up at the cabin. I find it's best to check the system at nighttime when there's no incoming power and preferably no load as well, so you can get a stable reading of what the voltage is of each individual cell. So far I haven't seen a variation of more than 0.02 volts per cell. I hope this has been helpful for anyone thinking of setting up their own lithium ion based solar setup. I gotta say that this system has been very reliable and it's compact and it's been perfect for our needs. If anyone has any questions they can leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time thanks for watching and we'll see you.